Hey Charles, today I want to take you on a tour of Rarotonga. I'm going to show you my favorite beaches, markets, and foods. And I know there's been a few different food videos out there of Rarotonga, but the only ones I've seen are either made by Kiwis or Australians. So I thought I would bring you one with the perspective of a North American. Uh, really enjoyed being there as a Canadian and seeing the different items that they had to offer. So be sure to stay tuned because there are some delicious items to eat there. take you on a tour around Rarotonga. It's a beautiful island. The road circles the whole island along the coast so you get some amazing views. We stayed here on the southwest side of the island at the Rarotongan Beach Resort. I've done a whole separate video on this but this just shows you how beautiful the beach is and there was tons of loungers everywhere as well as complimentary use of snorkel gear as well as paddle boards and kayaks so, so really something for everyone they did have one restaurant on site and it overlooked the ocean and they would throw you know bread or pancakes into the water for the fish to check out Murray Beach is located on the east side of the island and is arguably one of the prettiest beaches on the whole island. You can walk along here, there's lots of parking, and lots of people are having picnics right on the beach. And just enjoying that view. We're here at fabulous Murray Beach. That is actually the island you recall Gilligan's Island. That's the shot of the island that they used for the opening scene. I don't think it's where they filmed. I'm sure they filmed in LA somewhere, probably studios, but uh, see it's pretty memorable and pretty amazing. The water here is crystal clear. So you can actually walk over to that island. That's where they do um, the, I think it's Captain Moomoo's um, lagoon tour. And they have a glass bottom boat, you sail around here, you can see fish. And then you can go in for a barbecue, a, a drum show, and uh, also a little bit of uh, entertainment. So, or you can just walk up and down the beach. It's absolutely stunning here. The current's pretty strong today, pretty windy. Um, but uh, as you can see, you know, she's out there paddle boarding. She's doing okay, a okay. Lots of people snorkeling. Kayak over there. But it's just breathtaking lady the fall right out of a postcard and this is also really close to where they would do the night market uh, that happens on tuesdays wednesdays thursdays and sunday evenings starts at 5 p.m i think it ends around 9 p.m most things on the island um, seem to be fairly uh shut down at, at nine o'clock at night uh, but it's a place where you can get something to eat see a little bit of entertainment and check things out. Also buy some souvenirs, some crafts, maybe a little sarong or two, uh, but uh, absolutely beautiful here. Gotta check it out. So Palace Takeaways is one of the places that I researched before we got there and I had found that they offered burgers for $3.50 all day on Wednesdays as well as happy hour throughout the week. Sure enough, Wednesday came along, we got the burgers. It might have been a bit better if we'd eaten them right there, but we took them back to the house to eat. I did find it was a bit of a frozen patty and the bread kind of got all mucky from the sauce. So overall, I had to give that a thumbs down, but uh, if you're there, try eating it right there and see what you think. So the Murray Night Market is one of the most popular things in Rarotonga. We had to park about a kilometer away, uh, but it was free, so that was fine. Um, they have everything from, you know, curry chicken, and the, this one smelled amazing. The portion size was massive, to kebabs, to barbecued meats, to fried noodles. Um, they even had churros, so literally something for everybody. But the lineups were very long, and if you don't get there right when the market opens, a lot of stuff is sold out within 45 minutes to an hour after opening. Um, now, when we got there, it was about 6.30. A lot of the lineups were still massive. So we walked around and took a look at different items. 
bucks. It's a little bit more expensive than the Saturday market. So what we ended up doing is walking across the street and to, this was a place that had fish for sale, deep fried fish, as well as a few other things. So we went over there and uh, we ordered the bao buns, which came with a blue cheese sauce. I wasn't a fan of that, uh, but uh, my husband really enjoyed it. And then I ordered just the basic fish and chips and it was absolutely delicious. Highly recommend, would order it again in a heartbeat. So we came down to the market midweek thinking it was open and only found this waffle shack and decided we'd try one of their toasty sandwiches. I just got a beef, cheese, and onion toasty. It looks pretty amazing. Comes with a spicy tomato chutney, but trying to maneuver that in the camera is not gonna happen. Yummy, right? Mmm. That is delicious. This was six dollars. Highly recommend. So Cafe Ariki was actually recommended to us from some of the locals and we decided to check it out. They had the Rarotonga Brewery beer on tap, which is actually really nice, sort of light and refreshing. And we ordered a bunch of different items. We ordered the schnitzel, which came with a mushroom sauce. This is kind of a common thing in Rarotonga. Pretty much everything comes with the mushroom sauce. It is delicious if you don't like it or you don't want your crispy food wet, then I would just order it on the side. But nonetheless, this was the chicken schnitzel with the mushroom sauce. Then we have some fried chicken with mushroom sauce. Also gave a try on the calamari. And you know, I just wanted to indulge, so I just went with a bowl of uh, french fries and a side of the mushroom sauce for dipping. Um, I don't even remember if they had gravy. I had my heart set on that mushroom sauce and with fries, it was absolutely delicious. We ate a few meals at the Rarotongan Beach Resort, the hotel that we stayed at, and the food was overall hit and miss. Uh, it was fairly reasonably priced compared to eating out. The burgers were a massive hit. Very filling, whether you got the chicken burger or the beef burger, uh, it was basically enough for two people. We got the pizzas a couple of times. Again, those were hit and miss. I ordered a ham kids pizza, asked for it to be substituted with pepperoni, ended up with bacon. It still tasted good, but um, you know, just a bit, as I say, hit and miss. Rarotonga has some of the most amazing bakeries and their fresh bread is absolutely delicious, but they also have savory pies. So those were about $5 that you could see there. And then they've got all kinds of sweet treats that you can enjoy, as well as fresh baked bread, which was so delicious, so tasty. And then it's also got sandwiches as well. But um, it didn't just stop here. You didn't just get all the cakes and all the sweet stuff but you could also go to the local gas station and they were selling pies there as well. So naturally we had to buy one and ate it on the way walking back to the house rental. Absolutely delicious. So Charlie's was another place that was really highly recommended to us. It's right on the water on the sort of southeast side of the island and beautiful views. We popped in for lunch one day and had a side of fries as well as the island special dish, which is ikamata. It's basically a marinated fish dish, marinated in citrus juices so that it cooks through, usually made with tuna, comes with a little bit of bread for dipping. And we also tried the fish tacos as well as they have a massive fish sandwich. Now, this is meant to be for one person, but it is the size of a full dinner plate. So you can cut that in half and share it between two people with large appetites. Or if you have a smaller appetite, cut that sucker into four and you've got <laughs> plenty of food for everybody. The Pacific Fish and Chip Shop was a huge hit with us. It's really good. Uh, you can pre-order the food. You can pre-order Ikamata. That is $8.50. Um, and you can order it the day ahead if they are going to have it. So you can get one piece of fish for about 8 to $10, and it's a very large portion. 
or you can get a platter and that comes with coleslaw and chips as well. Um, that's about $16, but trust me, it is well enough for two people. We found that out the hard way. And saving the best for last is the Penanga Nui Market. This is a Saturday morning market and is the most popular. They've got everything from handbags to jewelry to souvenirs. You can get anything you want to take home. You can buy your fresh fruit and vegetables as well as, you know, hats and magnets and all that good stuff. They were selling freshly made hot sauce and it was very, very tasty. And they also had a bunch of different kinds of clothing for sale. And then once you get into the heart of the market, that's where they had a lot of different food options. So a lot of them were barbecue. They also had lots of different drinks. Um, these were very busy. And if you didn't get there first thing in the morning, a lot of times they would sell out. We did try the fried noodles. Those were very good. And then I opted for the baby pancakes, which was kind of a unique option and very, very tasty, but it, it just looked really interesting opted to go for the sweet side of things and give them a try. Here at Baby Pancakes. See that there? And I have an order of Baby Pancakes. I opted for the ones with maple syrup, icing sugar, and side of chocolate sauce. And there's just gobs of butter in here. You can give one of these a try, dip it in the chocolate sauce. Cheers. Mm. Really good. They're um, fluffy and light. Got that eggy taste of the pancake. And the butter is delicious. Um, thumbs up for sure. So the pancakes were very good and I would definitely recommend them or try the mini donuts with all those sauces. Those were fantastic as well. Um, but I saw a couple of savory sandwiches and I found out this is the best place to get the beef roll. It's located right beside that hot sauce hut. And basically what it is, is they take a roll of that lovely Rarotongan bread. They cut it in half down the top put a couple slices of lettuce in there and then they take this grilled beef it's essentially like fajita beef and they fill it and fill it and fill it until they can't fill it anymore and then once that's done they go and put some of that lovely creamy mushroom sauce you know the one that I've been showing you in all the other videos and photos top it with that and make a good old mess of it and there you have it and now here's my ever so messy and slightly hilarious tasting of it. We're here at the market and uh, I've seen a bunch of people walking around with these called steak rolls. And I've asked a couple of people like this right here is apparently the place to get them. They're $10. It's basically grilled steak, almost like fajita meat with a mushroom sauce, which is garlicky and insanely good. Take a bite. Yep, oh, definitely all over my face. Wipe that with the bun so we can save it for later. I need a Sam the Cooking Guy uh, twin hood. Uh, towel. Yeah, it's all over my face. Absolutely delicious. Highly recommend if you are here at Rarotonga at the Saturday night morning market. Thumbs up. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And before you go, be sure to check out this amazing house rental that we had in Rarotonga, very reasonably priced through Airbnb. And uh, it was a really great place to stay right on the ocean.